Hey everyone, so Inazuma is finally here and man is it good. So I've been playing quite a bit now, just exploring and having fun, man is it pretty. From the initial town you come to with the paper lanterns everywhere illuminating the way, and with the trees falling leaves slowly pass you by, it's such a treat for the eyes and there's such a breath of fresh air compared to the hills of Mondstadt or the rocky landscapes of Leeway. It is beautiful. So one thing I've been enjoying so much is just exploring Inazuma, you know. It's been a while since I've been able to do this, to just explore the world, defeat new enemies and do new puzzles and such. And it really brings me back to when I just started Genshin Impact and exploring the world. It was such a great feeling that it's definitely missing as sadly you reach a point where exploring becomes somewhat obsolete unless you're farming for a particular material and most times you're just teleporting waypoint to waypoint. And also the fact that they have only released I believe half of all the Inazuma Islands is such a good idea. As it means not only will we have something to look forward to in the coming weeks and months with the new islands that will be released, we can then explore them and retain that amazing exploration feel similar to Breath of the Wild. Also by doing this we always have a patch that is adding meaningful content to the game unlike what we've had in the past in which we've had these sort of event based patches that after the patch is over all the content gets removed which is not that great and these patches often get called filler patches. Now of course I do understand why they have done this as Genshin is first and foremost a mobile game and so always adding content will increase the size and make it extremely huge which mobiles probably couldn't handle but it seems that they must have found a way to add this new content and keep the size small by releasing these new Inazuma Islands which is very nice. Now the actual content, so personally I've been taking it rather slow and just enjoying my time as I truly feel that this is the best way to play Genshin Impact rather than to race to the finish as fast as possible as I definitely made this mistake with the first two zones and definitely regret it. Also one thing I see brought up time and time again is that Genshin has no content and while it could definitely do with more content and more things to do, these are probably the same people who are doing everything they can in the first day which is probably not the best idea. But again of course it could do with more things to do but spacing things out is a great idea. It's kind of like Breath of the Wild, you could race through the story and go to Ganon and kill him and then call it there but you completely miss out on the whole vast world to explore and do quests and such and so there's that. So now on Onside 2.0 we've also got a few new features to explore and use so one of these is the artifact exchanger sort of thing in which you can turn in at least three artifacts for one of a certain type. So for example you can change in three random artifacts for one gladiators finale. Now is this worth it? Mm. Now if you have leftover artifacts I feel that is way better to use them for experience for your next artifact you want to level than to trade it in as even if you trade it there's no guarantee you'll get a good artifact. Maybe if this was cheaper it would be better but at the moment it's in a weird spot. Now another thing they added is farming. Now that's pretty cool. So what you do you go back to your teapot, you see the guy has added new things to the store like seeds and these farm patch things. You can now grow various local specialties including the new ones from Inazuma. So pretty much what you do you put them in, wait the required time and you'll be presented with some fresh local specialties. So this is pretty cool as in the actual world of Genshin these have a spawn timer so sometimes you'll be weighing on there and this can help fill that gap as these are really useful to have as they are used for leveling up characters and so if you can keep your farm up you'll always have a steady supply of these local specialties. Now of course we also have the new sort of pity system for the weapon banners which allows you to choose a weapon and if you don't get it you get a sort of point and get two points and your next weapon will be that chosen weapon. Now this is okay but these points do get removed once the featured banner ends and so the amount of money you'd have to spend to get your chosen weapon 
in the banner is so extremely high and this system would be so much better if these points didn't get removed after each banner but it's still a step in the right direction and hopefully they continue to improve on this it will definitely be really really good for free to play players but yeah all in all i have been loving playing inazuma exploring the region defeating new enemies it's all been so much fun but how about you how are you liking it so far leave a comment down below and as always i hope you enjoyed and i'll see you next time